I'm broke and busy all the time, which isn't good for someone who likes to go to the movie theaters and watch movies and talk about them. But then I found out that The Eighth Grade, directed by Bo Burnham, uh, was having a free screening last week. And of course, I had to go watch it. Thank you, Bo Burnham. Papa bless. <laughs> so Bo Burnham started his career making videos as a teenager in his basement. And then he turned into a very successful stand-up comedian. Boy, my future looks bright, doesn't it? Okay, so let's... talk about the movie. So 8th grade is about a girl who is in 8th grade. I, f I feel like that was a little self-explanatory. Wasn't it? The story follows a girl named Kayla as she deals with some 8th grade struggles and trials and all that good adolescence that we went through in 8th grade. The first thing I will praise about the movie is the kids. The writing for them and the acting for them are done very well. The kids talk like kids. It feels like genuine, authentic interactions between 8th grade kids. The interaction of the characters are so awkward and so imperfect that it works perfectly for the movie because realistically, kids would never have a fully cohesive conversation with each other. The main lead for this, Elsie Fisher, does a very good job. She disappears into this role and it makes me forget at times that she's an actress portraying a kid rather than just an actual kid existing in real life because she plays the role so well and so authentically. I wouldn't be surprised if she starts appearing in more movies, bigger movies, and she gets a big role boost from this particular movie. But my favorite kid in the movie was this kid. This kid was just so adorably awkward. He was played so well and he was only in two scenes, yet he was so memorable. This kid was me. I would always try to get to the other side of the pool without taking a breath or trying to do handstands and would always run my mouth with the stupidest things ever coming out of my mouth because I'm an idiot. But aren't we all in eighth grade, am I right? <laughs> High five. That was me. I'm lonely. Please send help. But yeah, the character interactions in this movie feel genuine. It doesn't feel like a bunch of 60-something-year-old executives wrote lines that were cool and hip with the kids these days that would make it instantly dated outside of this time frame. The movie even makes fun of that. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is a teacher who tries to appeal to the kids or whatever by just walking into the room and saying, hey, what's up, guys, and then just instantly dabbing. <laughs> it's just, it's so awkwardly funny, you know? He's just literally like, hey, what's up, guys? All right, on to the awards. All right, let's go, Johnny. You get the prettiest eyes. Your eyes dazzle. Your eyes are just bedazzle. Bedazzling me. That's a cool word, right? Kids love the word bedazzle. Hooey! <laughs> <laughs> but that in and of itself is a good commentary on just the stupidity of chasing popular trends because they will eventually just stop being popular and start being stupid and cringy later on down the line, yet people continue to just chase those because that's what all the cool people are doing, whether it's dabbing or whether it's the cool new dance move or the cool new phrase or whatever it is. It, it's continually brought up throughout the movie. And I do think, despite all the awkward humor, it is a very good commentary on just why chasing popular trends or trying to say the popular thing or doing the popular thing is just stupid and in the long term it's just trivial in the realm of life and because the character interactions feel so genuine it makes us connect with these characters and make them feel like they are us and it makes us reflect back on 
the eighth grade, the seventh grade, even the ninth grade, and just think how stupid we were as those kids because we were just trying to desperately to fit in with the cool crowd and do whatever the cool kids were doing and ultimately ended up being pointless and trivial. You know, saying things like lit or saying things like Gucci or whatever they say in the movie. I'm literally cringing on the inside right now that those words are coming out of my mouth. I want to die. But saying those things, doing those things because they're popular, because they're cool, ultimately in the long run are, is just trivial and doesn't amount to anything in your life. Being cool doesn't matter in the long run. Ultimately, I think that's what this movie is about, is the fruitless pursuit of being cool when you're in your adolescent age. I think this movie is mainly made for teenagers just now coming out of that and going into their more adult phase that as they grow up nothing you do in eighth grade nothing you do in ninth grade to be cool is going to matter in the long run no one in the corporate scenes going to care that you dabbed on the haters more than other people <laughs> i hate myself so much right there <laughs> no one in the corporate scene is going to care that you said Gucci this many times, or you could do a dab, or you could do with the floss, or any of this stupid stuff. They're only gonna care about what your skills are, how you relate to people. That's what matters in the long run. And I think that's what this movie's trying to commentate on. Besides that, there's no big takeaway. It's just kind of, here's a realistic depiction of the eighth grade. It represents the 8th grade really well. Kids sniffed markers. Kids made lightsabers out of markers. <laughs> Tried to make it the biggest it could possibly get before completely shattering. But this movie is a very realistic depiction of the 8th grade and of middle school years. And of junior high years. It represents the stupid things kids do that we look back and we're just like... Wow, we, we did that, okay. But it also represents the actual s kids, how they interact with each other, and the struggles those kids went through as they went through that transition from 8th grade and adolescence to ninth grade and becoming a bit more mature. This movie gives us a real insight looking back in our lives on the things we had to go through and just the social pressures put on us by our peers and by our teachers. And looking at back at that, this movie does a really good job representing those struggles and those social pressures. I think combined with the awkward, dry humor and the very accurate depiction of middle school and junior high, this movie does a really good job. It's very funny, it's very realistic in its depiction, and it leaves you... It left most of the audience I went with in the theater just looking back on our years and going, wow, that just didn't matter and we were worried for nothing. I think this movie is primarily made for teenagers just so, yeah, that was stupid, so why am I chasing this popular trend now? Which is why I'm glad I got to see it. So, uh, hats off to Bo Burnham. You did great for your directorial debut. You know, it wasn't a masterpiece or anything. He did what he was good at, which was comedy and realistic depictions of everyday society. You know, there's no spectacular cinematography. The music even got a little bit grating, to be honest, with uh, the overwhelming uh, electronic music that just kept coming in and coming out, and it got extremely loud, which kind of broke the tension of whatever scene we were in. But besides that, Bo Burnham did a really good job for a directorial de debut. Uh, I look forward to seeing what else he has up his sleeve. I look forward to seeing him evolve because that's what putting these things out in the public is for. You get to put something out, absorb the criticism, and figure out how going forward to evolve and adapt. So kudos to him. Uh, if you want a rating, I give this a 
if you think this looked good and if you were in 8th grade, uh, you should watch it because it's pretty good out of 10. Uh, <laughs>so yeah hopefully this was a shorter video I'm, I'm pretty sure this is gonna end up being shorter than uh, 34 minutes because this took me about 34 minutes to record so uh you're welcome <laughs> uh but yeah thank you for uh watching if you can tolerate my uh eighth grade like awkwardness <laughs> uh please hit that subscribe button share with your friends uh Hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't, still please hit that like button. I can't afford dislikes right now. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs> but uh, leave a comment down below if you feel inclined to do so. If uh, you liked the review or if you liked the movie, let me know. If you didn't like the movie, tell me why. Or if you just don't like Bo Burnham in general, tell me why. So thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. Uh, then we'll see you next time. Gucci. <laughs> I'm, di <coughs> I'm dying on the inside. I, I don't, I, I don't blame you if you feel like, uh, never coming back here ever again. That wasn't worth it at all.